Hey everyone, Pat from Aeroflow Performance. Uh, today I'm going to take you through our range of catch cans, breather tanks, whatever you want to call them. There's a bunch of different names, but uh, they basically take oil vapour that's coming out of your engine, thanks to positive crankcase pressure, and they're going to separate it, allow the motor to breathe, uh, and not pull it down with any excess oil pressure. So why do we need a catch can, what's its function uh, and why are there so many variations or, or different ways of going about uh, plumbing a catch can uh, for your application. So basically when the engine is operating thanks to rotating masses, um, piston rings not being completely sealed from the combustion uh, that's happening in the combustion chamber uh, and other operations of the, of the motor temperature and things like that, we build up pressure in the crankcase. That's called positive crankcase pressure. Now a factory or an OEM vehicle will have a PCV um, system on the top of it, so a positive crankcase ventilation system. That's generally uh, on the top of the motor, on the cam cover or the rocker covers depending on the type of engine. Uh, it will, will be a little valve that uh, is opened by pressure and then that valve will be plumbed generally in a factory application to the intake manifold or the intake tract. Um, so just after your air filter, it'll come back into the motor. That's for a couple of reasons and almost all of those reasons are to do with emissions. So rather than have the engine breathe oil vapour out, out of the, the covers and just into the atmosphere, the manufacturers need to return that back into the system. So the motor then processes it via combustion and it goes through the exhaust system and the relative uh, emission systems that are involved with the exhaust. When it comes to a high performance engine, uh, you're talking you know, aftermarket turbocharger, uh, higher RPM, uh, stroker kits, so you know, a larger crank inside that, uh, in inside that crankcase, this is gonna increase that positive crankcase pressure. So the amount of uh, windage that happens from the crank, which is basically swiping around and, and picking up oil, or it's increasing the amount of pressure that's down there, there's gonna be a much larger, um, a much larger amount of pressure that's created and for a longer time. So generally in a performance application you've got sustained high RPM. So that's going to be much more and it's going to require that PCV system to be much more active than it would in a factory, you know, commuter or, or you know, medium performance vehicle. So when we've gone to that high performance engine, we need to look at perhaps a catch can that is going to vent to the atmosphere or it's going to be a much larger reservoir that will catch the venting that's going to come to it. So you're going to get oil pressure, or not oil pressure, but uh, pressurised vapour effectively that's going to carry oil vapour in it. So the air is going to come into here. It's going to go into that, into that can and there's baffling, there's turns, there's bends, there's mesh in some cases that will separate the oil from the air it will retain the oil within this can and then allow the air to breathe back. Now, depending on your class, depending on your racing class, depending on what you're doing with the vehicle, you can still use these tanks to plumb this back into the intake manifold, but you're basically allowing that oil to separate from the air. So in addition to those names that we always mentioned, these are also referred to as an oil air separator. So, and that's the function, the air comes in, it hits the baffling, which stops the air and it separates the oil vapour from it. It retains it to be drained at a later point. We have little drain valves here, petcocks, that you can unscrew. It will allow you to drain that excess oil or vapour or the, the condensed vapour out, uh, out of the can uh, and dispose of it safely and environmentally friendly. That's not necessarily legal, I guess you would say, uh, in most applications. So you have to consider that when you're building a streetcar that is a high performance streetcar. Um, make sure you check with the relative authorities whether or not you can run a vented catch can to atmosphere. 
uh, or whether or not it needs to be plumbed back. But basically all of these options give you the option to do that uh, either way. So plenty of different variations um, depending on the space that you have in your vehicle, in your engine bay, uh, wherever it needs to be, depending on the requirements for your racing class. Some classes require a minimum of a two litre catch can or a four litre catch can, or whatever it might be. So we've got a few different variations there. Dual units, so if you've got a V style configuration or a, a twin cam sort of configuration with two separate covers, you can plumb them individually. You can plumb two points into one. Um, you can have uh, you know, this different style that has a filter element and actually breathes out from under the cap. Um, so that's a little shorter. Obviously these are quite tall. So that's a little bit more compact. That'll get into a smaller area in your engine bay. Uh, and the list goes on. So there's plenty of different options. In addition to the size and the style of the catch can, there's also something that's quite often overlooked when it comes to plumbing the cans. So as you can see, most of these have quite large, they're you know, a dash eight or a dash 10 or a dash 12 uh, ORB fitting on here. So you can adapt them to the, uh, to the hose that you're going to run. What's important to note, particularly in a uh, in a forced induction application, so a turbo or, or, or a supercharged engine, is that with the increase in the amount of crankcase pressure, you've got to get that pressure out of the motor as well. So your factory ports in the cam covers, for example, might be 3 8 or you know 10 or 12 mil or something something like that, where that could be potentially half the size of this inlet port. Now, if you continue to run that hose in that same diameter that's still causing a restriction to be able to get that pressure out of your motor. So sometimes you might need to look at upgrading the fittings on the top, whether or not you have a weld on fitting uh, that goes onto a rocker cover or a cam cover, uh, or if you use an adapter fitting, so something like um, our press-in adapters that go onto RB or Barra uh, cam covers, uh, or even the uh, oil cap adapter that we have for the LS and Barra motors, which run a Dash 10 or a dash 12 uh, ORB in the top, that will allow for that crankcase pressure to come out of the motor a lot easier and not cause a restriction. Uh, we have seen in the past where in turbocharged applications, without an adequate breather system on the motor, the crankcase pressure builds to a point where it's actually starting to push dipsticks out of the, out of the dipstick tube and it's restricting the flow of the oil drain from the turbocharger. So you've got your turbocharger being fed oil, it's coming down into the crankcase, but because there's so much pressure in there, it can't actually drain out. So that's something to keep in mind when you're talking about plumbing the whole system up as well. And especially if you're running E85 or methanol or something like that, make sure that the hoses that you use are safe and compatible with those types of fuels, because not only are you gonna get the fuel in there, you're gonna get the oil vapor, and you're gonna get uh, moisture that is brought out of the brought out of the air from those types of fuel those hydroscopic fuels so please keep all of those factors in mind if you've got any questions um, where it's not clear on what style you would use or what type you would use in your application please feel free to shoot us an email or give us a call um, sales at aeroflowperformance.com is our email address and we'll be happy to help you and guide you in the direction that you need for your application. So guys, now you know all about our range of catch cans, breather tanks, oil air separators. You can check them out at your local distributor, quality retail outlet, or jump online at aeroflowperformance.com.